I just woke up from my 11 hour nap. Think about that for a second. And I figured now would be the right time to make a video. I'm going to do this all in one take because I'm a real nigga. I find it funny that people that are against concepts like slavery are the most slavish people in uh, an ethical Nietzsche sense. They're full of that slave morality. For example, conservatives when it comes to, let's say, the immigration issue. They only seem to have an issue with immigration if it's illegals taking away their jobs. It's very defensive, very slavish. Whereas, and they were concerned about the kebabs because essentially there are threats to their national security. Isn't that kind of ironic, since they're on that kosher dick? But, I noticed that that's somewhat funny. And then you got the liberals that claim to be at the, at the low church level. At the low church level. Pro-minority, pro... Essentially... All these races that have been held back by the white man that have been oppressed words like oppression I've almost wiped them completely off my memory never liked them but damn the way they're being used it, it's way too cheesy <sighs> shit someone turned the heater on and now my room is like hot as fuck before it was like really fucking cold you could tell it was fucking freezing, but now, now it just feels like a new level of hell. I'm sure that analogy has been used before. <laughs> oh no, I'm just staring at you guys to make you feel uncomfortable. And libertarians seem to use police brutality as a negative in all sense of the word. And police officers are cro-mags, and cro-mags tend to do sideways bullshit because they oftentimes are dishonest and incapable of intellectual rigor, which oftentimes can make you a very truthful person. At the same time, an officer shoots a dog and everyone starts freaking out. Uh, some dumbass dad calls the cops on his kid because he took off of his car to teach him a lesson. And then that dad gets pissed because they end up killing that guy when he causes an accident or bumps into another someone else's car. Something like that. Yeah. The slave morality is getting way out of hand. And you can tell that political ideologies have essentially taken a foundation in master morality, but they've weakened. And we see that nowadays in the fact that the forefront of any political movement, any vanguard, is going to be a bunch of weak, scrawny-ass beta males, as opposed to this weak, scrawny-ass omega male you're seeing right now. I mean, when's the last time I've left this apartment? When's the last time I left this room, actually? I can't remember. <sighs> Take anarchism, for example, what was once represented with guys like Ragnar Redbeard or Max Stirner is now Voluntarist Virtues, Molyneux, the Mises Foundation, or whatever it's called nowadays.
it's identified with weak people. People that are soft, people that are very much slavish in the sense that they subscribe to the non-aggression principle. And I'm not a very big fan of non-aggression principle. And then you have the National Socialists. I mean, that movie I reviewed was called Triumph of the Will. What does that need to tell you? So they've taken some views of strength and master morality. But look at neo-Nazis, for example. The Anglo the Anglo-American side of it all. These are guys that are degenerates that really just use the dying the death of the white race, the gradual decline of it, as an excuse to act like monkeys. To act like dumbass chromags that they oftentimes are. Sexually degenerate, abusing drugs, associating based on low level virtues, and taking a very Protestantized version of Christianity. Not really full of that strong hierarchy or order. And by Protestant, I don't just mean like good Protestant, I mean like black Protestant. So that does bother me. It doesn't help that there were once feminazis that voted Democrat, but alright, that doesn't bother me a lot. I could get behind all that shit. It just really depresses me. Well, no, it doesn't depress me, but... People are getting soft. They say Zionism also has roots in Nietzsche. But... Drake immediately showcases that that's a dying factor. Not to say that Drake's a Zionist, but damn. I go to a Jewish side, the Jewish side of my neighborhood, and I feel like I could kick everyone there's ass. I mean, they all have the guy titties, they all have, they're all cowering behind their chicks. They're all just weak looking niggas. And I'm sorry about that, but. Damn, that's just how it is. Every ideology rooted in that strip, that master morality, has gradually become a thing of slave morality. Besides the obvious anarchism, national socialism, besides Nietzsche, Let's check, let's check something else. I'm going to use my phone as a reference since I have no class and I don't edit my fucking videos. How about that? You have a problem with that? Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what's coming over me. I think Monday Night Raw for last week, November 18, that was actually pretty good. A lot of people were iffy on the Big Show versus Ryback match. I, I like that shit. That shit was good. I also liked, uh, well obviously I liked the ending match and the ending itself. What else did I like? Yeah, there wasn't there wasn't a match that I hated except Yeah, I really liked that Ziggler and Damian Sandow shit. That shit was good, man. There, there were a lot of good matches.
You know what, I think that's it. I think I'm gonna end the video right fucking here. Any other, like, commentary I have... I really don't like when people... And this is just to fill up the last three minutes. I don't really... I really hate when people critique secrecy. A lot of conspiratorial suitors. Why are all these elites associating... Without us knowing, they must be saying some horrible shit. Well, actually, they are, but I'm sure if people like me came to power, we would basically give our raw viewpoints and secrecy and our watered-down viewpoints to the masses. You're going to need that. You're going to need a little bit of secrecy, a little bit of a low church and a high church. The conservatives overemphasize the low church side of the things. And liberals do to a lesser degree. That's why a lot of conservatards end up becoming fucking libtards because they're a little higher than the retard spectrum that conservatives like to target. But then they become the generic New Yorker except without a fetish for the gayness and the Brahmin shit. I mean, New Yorkers love that uh, gay issue. It's actually kind of weird. Anyway, this is Mr. Rocket 7. I hope you guys are having a relatively good day for watching this right now. I hope that if you have a shitty day, that you can find a way to make that work. Now, suck my dick, and remember, you gotta respect the king. This is the king right here. Alright, take care.